top of the morning, it's Pixie. Um, there we go, look. Lovely, lovely coloration to it. What I've done is I've just made a colloidal last night. I just made um, a pint of um, red lion um, or colloidal, colloidal gold. And um, there's loads of the wire left. There's not, it's, you know, I expected to see it shrunk, but it hasn't at all. So you could probably make, I could probably make loads and loads of it, to be honest. So I've already made two pints. Um, yeah, so all I did is, is I just put it on last night. Woke up this morning, had a nice um, red red coloured colloidal, and um, just added it to uh, to the mineral water, which is a lot easier. It doesn't really have any taste at all. There's nothing there. You don't need to put a lot of. Um, I might even pull back on some of the stuff added to it because I know they put maple. They put what well, they they put is corn syrup. They're going about having corn syrup with some stabiliser. Um, but the salts help, of course, the reaction, and sodium citrate um, causes a reaction with the gold. So once the electrolysis starts, it starts taking off um, atomic atomic layer of it, basically, and um, it just builds up on it. So yeah, so it's, I mean, it's a definitely um, something to worth considering as well. Is that if you do like drinking mineral water, you can always add you can always add a little bit of colloidal to it. So if you're going down your gym or whatever, just add a bit of little bit of copper or whatever, it doesn't add a much, but it can improve your circulation and um, also aid your repair and recovery and healing and also goes into the enzymes. This is quite good with colloidal copper, I was doing some research, um, enzymes to do with your mitochondria um, production and health, so cause I've been doing a lot of research into MS and stuff like that and um, autoimmune diseases. And um, so there, that works, works a treat. Um, for, as for me, I did suffer from IBS, but I don't seem to be suffering at the moment. Much the reverse now, my um, my bowel movements have sort of gone back to normal, which is a bit different, because you sat on the toilet thing, <laughs> it's taken a while, but it's better because you know everything's sort of um, tightened up. When you have um, stuff like cow's milk and you've knocked out all your, your bacteria in your stomach and, and stuff like that, then your body's just just pushing anything out for it as fast as it can it doesn't want it in it and so it kind of malfunctions it's just like firing it out um so you've always got to keep watching what you're eating at the moment i don't have to worry too much and um the way i've done it is i use colloidal silver to sort of clean out my stomach because i had a pains or discomfort and then i've rebuilt up and reintroduced um like good goat's milk and i first started with goat's yogurt so i had a bit of yogurt so it was like oh, it was nice and creamy and then, then I think it was later that day or the next day I got some more, and I and I had a fancy to get some fruit with it as well, so I did. I just kind of listened to my stomach. It said, "Yeah, blueberries and that that yogurt would be lovely." And um, I just sort of I did that over a, a few days, three or four days, and now my gut's back back to where it needs to be. At first, it was a bit uncomfortable because it had that knee jerk reaction that, "Oh, you're putting a dairy in me." but it's actually all worked out. So anyway, just pick your sign off and speak to you soon.